Winston Hazel is a 36-year-old electrician. He was shot about 12 times about his body at around 1907 hours on Tuesday. The shooting unfolded in front of Hazel's Lot 86 Tocqueville Georgetown home. The newsroom was reliably informed that investigations revealed that Hazel was returning home from Durban Street Lodge in his motor car PRR 3310. As he stopped and turned onto his entrance, two men appeared on an XR motorcycle. The suspects, who were armed with handguns and wearing hoodies, came off of the motorcycle and discharged several rounds at Hazel while he was in his car. After realizing he was shot, the newsroom was told that the wounded Hazel made his way out of his car and ran into his yard and called out to his wife, who was at home. While he was doing this, the gunman continued to shoot at him before escaping. Hazel was rushed to a city private hospital and later transferred to the Georgetown Public Hospital where he underwent emergency surgery. His condition is listed as critical. The police were alerted and Hazel's car was examined. There were bullet holes to the driver's side door while the glass from the windows were shattered. Investigators recovered seven 9mm spent shells and one live 9mm ammunition at the scene. Police have obtained CCTV footage from the area, which will be reviewed as part of the investigations, while efforts are also being made to locate the suspects. Hazel is known to law enforcement officials. Back in March 2022, he and another man, Devon Simon, were arrested by ranks of the Customs Anti-Narcotic Unit, CANU. They were allegedly found in possession of 12.8 pounds of cocaine worth $6.5 million. The parcels of cocaine were discovered in the vehicle they were traveling in, which was intercepted during an operation in the Guyhawk Park, Tocqueville area. Both men were charged and remanded to prison. Reporting for the newsroom from Tocqueville, Georgetown, I am Shardabacus.